the young man wear Love lecture Diamond under pressure The man are playing question time Talking about who's next in line Who the best in grind Welcome aboard everybody This is Wednesday Night Basketball Of the NBA on 2K Sports With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke This is Kevin Harlan And joining us on the sidelines Another Hall of Famer David Aldridge and a chance now to see how teams are faring across the league. Here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. They're stuck in the same spot, but still a top 10 team. When you look at this visiting team, they're obviously trending in a positive direction, but still working out some of those early season timing issues. But I have to say, I like what I'm seeing. And let's go straight over to David Aldridge for a report before the tip-off. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Today's NBA is truly a skill game. One through five. One team executive said there is a high threshold on big men right now. The big has to do it all. Another said top bigs must have a diverse skill set. Ball handling, shooting, all of it. Guys, these days, size and athleticism are not enough. Changing like the game is. David, good insight. Thank you. For the teams that are clearly rebuilding, Greg, should they simply play the young guns uh, no matter what, or, or should they make them earn their minutes? I think there should be a combination, and, and as long as guys are pros and really approaching the game the right way, you want to give them an opportunity to grow, and also it gives you a chance to evaluate. Now the starting group for the visitors. We've got Johnson. Robertson is out there with Bycrief. Then there's Daniel Gaffer. And it's Portis in at the power forward position. They've got Maravich. He's out there with Abdul Rauf. Simmons is out there with Shaquille O'Neal. And it's Pettit in at the power forward. And they turn it over. Up in the line that time. Johnson with it. A dependable source of points for his team. Averages just under 24 points a game. Passes to O'Neal. And the rejection by Gafford. And he's able to get it back. The shot by Abdul Rauf is no good. Abdul Rauf against Moncrief. Joe Johnson on the way. Kicks it out to Robertson. Just five to shoot. Over Maravich. No good off the back of the rim. Pass to Abdul Rauf. First quarter just over a minute played. Shoots over Gafford. It's blocked. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Portis. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. Gone 0-3 from the field to start the game. Tries it from the top of the key. And it's in after a nice box off the right side. Well, coaches might discourage that kind of look, but he'll take it anyway. And he lobs it up toward the rim, and Gafford throws it down. Chemistry at its best, an unreal alley -oop. Now, though, you're right. The pass, the catch, the dunk, all of it perfect. Now, here is Maravich. 23 points his last outing. There's the drive. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. But I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. And he gets the bucket. But Johnson isn't just an outside shooter. This guy is a versatile, talented scorer in the paint. Maravich against Robertson. Maravich, the pass to Pettit. And you can see he just didn't get first squared up with foul. his feet. First team foul. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. 
O'Neal a screen on Moncrief. Abdul Raouf, the pass to O'Neal, and the dunk by O'Neal. O'Neal is a force of nature. Once he gets it that low, it is a foregone conclusion. Now here is Moncrief. With an average of around 19 and a half points a game, his scoring has been a constant for them. He doesn't hit that one. Gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Back to Maravich. Shaq with a screen on Robertson. Maravich, the pass to Abdul Rauf. And the rejection by Gafford. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Gafford. Shot clock at five. O'Neal is screen on Robertson. And here's Maravich for three. It's rebounded by Portis. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Johnson can't get it to go. In this first quarter, around 38%. They're looking a bit freaky out there. Gone two or six from the field. On grief against Abdul Rauf. Johnson down low. Back to Moncrief. Johnson surveying the floor. It's blocked by Shaq. And the aggressiveness on display here from O'Neal. Terrific at turning shots away with that size and length. Pass to Abdul Rauf. Now O'Neal. to remember that one oh, for a while. I know I will, Greg. That, that was special. That was really special. Awesome display of athleticism captured by your AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Joe Johnson on the way. Outside Portis. Offered his screen on Maravich. Robertson passes to Gaff. That's good. And Robertson with the assist. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Outside, Maravich. The 19-footer is on the money. Maravich has got six points. Boy, his shot looks deadly right now. Already he's hit three of four to start. Here now, the 2K leaderboard, showing us the best passing teams in the NBA over the course of the last month. And, and what stands out during this recent stretch is just how well they pass the basketball. I mean, this is a club that has become really unselfish. gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. The pass to Beverly. Portis with it. He's guarded by Davis. Portis, the pass to Brewer. Here's Temple. Feeds it to Maravich. It's rebounded by Portis in this first quarter around 38 percent they're looking a bit creaky out there good and the assist goes to Williamson uh, this guy reads situations so well and he knows how to execute Maravich against Beverly into the lane Maravich good he's got eight wow how about 
about the start to this game, taking excellent shots, capitalizing on everything the defense is giving him. This is great stuff. Now, here's Beverly. Stats on him, he's averaging nine points a game. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Jones finds Beverly. Now, here's Portis. A second chance effort. And the layup is up and in. Portis has got his second basket of the game. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. Fouled beyond the arc, and he almost hit the shot. He'll go to the line for three. And Maravich, the skill set, how savvy he is, and then the showmanship that he brings to the table. I, I don't know that we've ever had a guy more creative at the game of basketball. And the first one drops. Good on the second free throw. nails the third. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line, and boy, has his stroke been on the money. And Brewer kicks to Beverly. Williamson is screen on Maravich. Beverly, green with the block. Outside, Maravich. Davis sets a screen. Driving the lane. Goes up with the stripe. Here's Temple. Good on the triple. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's Beverly. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. 51 seconds left to play here in the first. Dishes it to Williamson. Clock at four. Here's Brewer. Reed with the block. Here's Temple, defended by Beverly. Temple, the pass to Maravich. Kicks it to Davis. Outside, Maravich. Over Brewer. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. Maravich has got 13. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. It's his first trip to the line. The numbers this year at the line Shooting below the 70, team. so when he's getting to the line, not Ryan nearly Brewer as effective at as the he line for two. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And he can't hit the second. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Maravich, good. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. They lead by 12. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two.